The Sheffield Steelers already have the League and Challenge Cup in the bag. Now they begin their assault on the playoffs. Like all the top seeds this season, the Steelers are playing the first leg at home. But unlike everyone else, they aren't really at home today. With the arena unavailable this weekend, Ice Sheffield plays host to a Steelers playoff game for the first time in over a decade. To say that their last two playoff matches here against Coventry and Hull didn't go well is an understatement. Tom Coolen's five flyers are the opponents, and over the second half of the season, they've had the form of a top five team. Owens netminding the scoring talents of Lajeunesse and Osterberg. This is a tricky tie for the Steelers, and they're without their captain. Robert Dowd is replaced by Finlay Ulrich. The Steelers won Grand Slams in the Premier League and Super League days. Now they're just four games away from completing the set and capping this most memorable of seasons in style. Look for a pass and didn't see one he liked. He's going to carry it in instead. Baumas keeps going. Baumas plays the pass and there's a little stick in there from Ericsson. Another. That just kept it away from Usula. Important stick, Jonathan. Very much so as Baumas saw Usula coming in the back door and the net was gaping. Here's Nevalainen. Sends it across. What, what a fantastic play. Baumas hits it in. 30 on the season. And the Steelers lead in the playoff quarterfinal. Nicholas Nevalainen, what a fantastic pass here. Look at this. No look straight back across. Baumas tape to tape right through. Shane Owen can't quite get across. I think it goes underneath the arm. Marco Valorant out in front. Is, he's trying to tie up and create some traffic, but Mitchell Balmas on a great little pass in return. Puts Steelers up, 1-0, Jonathan. Steelers lead the shot count 11-7 at the moment. Osterberg passes just out of the reach of Lajeunesse. Usula will bring it forward. Kind of skated straight into Jonas Emmerdal, though. He's only too happy to poke it away. Medal out to the far side. Steelers can't get a stick onto it. One time to go by Lajeunesse. And it has gone in for an equaliser. Almost identical play to, to Balmas' goal. One timer coming across this side. You'll see it here. It just sneaks underneath the armor Greenfield. As he tracks across, the puck's away. And you can see he's just trying to squeeze it and hold it. But again, a rebound there. Emmerdahl going to the net hard. Just in case there was a rebound. But no rebound needed. Flyers back in it. Nevalainen hits the deck. Giotto can't take the puck forward, but it will bounce back in his direction, and now Jones has got a hustle over. Jones got his stick to it and wouldn't let Giotto skate away from him. And then Shudra has kept himself on side. No support, but Shudra shoots and scores! It was his only option, and he beat Owen down low. Oh, well, Shane Owen's looking skyward. He knows he got beat five hole. Shudra just comes out of the box. He's trying to get his feet going, gets going, gets under possession and control. Gets a good hard wrist shot through. And you can see Shane Owen right there. It goes straight through the five hole. Couldn't see who made the pass from Steelers end zone, but Shooter just jumps out onto the ice and finishes it off. And you can see what it means to him. And you can see him pick it up off the boards. There's Poteau. Trying to center it, Cormier read it and feeds it to Balmas. Balmas switches it to the forehand and a little touch from Emmerdahl just hopped it over the stick of Watling. Steelers is opening, opening it up a little bit here. The gears are going. Balmas! Second of the game for Mitchell Balmas. The Steelers are 3-1 up. Coming out of nowhere, you can see Mitchell Balmas just gets himself in a nice little lane there. Emmerdahl just sort of backs away and it's tape to tape and Nothing Shane Owen can do about that. It goes over the pad and under the glove, and Steelers stretch the lead. I was just about to say they were going up through the gears. The last couple of shifts after the shooter goal, they went straight back and went at it again and put Fife under pressure not once but twice. And Robert Dowd having a little look and seeing what's going on. Steelers are hopeful that he might be back in the lineup for Sunday, especially because Finley Ulrich is scheduled to be playing at home for the Seahawks in their playoff game. They have a group stage in the playoffs in the NIHL, so they play six games across a mini group stage. He's already played a couple, and more to come. He's available tonight and getting ice time, and he's making his presence felt. The Steelers would love to have their captain back. If it's all possible on Sunday. 
Pulkinen. Across for Humitz. Shot over the top as Tanzi threw himself in front of it. Good pass from, from Pulkitz. Opportunity right out front and Humitz buries it into the top corner. The puck came into the slot and he made no mistake. Have a little look here. See what happens with, with, with Greenfield in, in the net here. As he goes to get up, I think. I'm not sure what happened, but you can see he doesn't get up and he ends up throwing his body up. And Valorant just watches the puck go through and Tansy can't get there as well. And Pateau takes a risk. Puck turned over. Nickel shot saved. Shudra's follow up blocks as well. Shudra gets it back. Moves centrally. Plays the pass. Oh, and it hops over the stick of Neverlinen. Here's Nichols. Switches to the forehand, then to the backhand, then back to the forehand. Then plays it out. Shudra! He's got another. Wow, Josh Nichols looked great. Patience behind the net, twisting and turning, allowing Shudra to find some space. Finley Ulrich, too, with taking up Puteau, and Owen doesn't see Shudra come across, and it's through the five hole again. Shooter looks for that spot and finds it, but again, good finish from him, but Josh Nichols and Finley Ulrich on a throw together line here in the second period have created absolute chaos. Emmerdal moves centrally this time. Pavlov switches back. Pateau, Pavlovs. Uh -oh. oh, and there's an interception, there's a two on O. Balmas is in. Balmas saved oh, by Owen. Oh, he tries to go five hole as well. Mitchell Baum with all sorts of time. He tries to do this the quick hands, but no, Shane Owen makes a good save. I thought he stood up on it, but he actually drops the knee. As it looks like Balmas has him in the five hole. He quickly drops the knee and pops it into the corner. So takes it on at center ice. Drives forward. His shot gets deflected. He's going to keep fighting for it. A few in the crowd thought the stick was high from Michaela. Well, he didn't really complain. Here's Nichols. Already seen his creativity once. Owen hits the deck and Jones scores! And the Flyers are going to be furious about that. They're right. Remember, Jonathan, there's no goal review in here either. The goalie interference. And we have to see the referees are having a little look. Owen goes flying, but how does he go flying? Not sure if it's is it Ulrich that goes through, but Jones does a great job. And Nichols, Ulrich, and Shudra again through the middle of the ice. We'll have a little look here. Ulrich is in the corner. See what happens when he goes out in front. He's pushed into him by the five Flyers defenseman right there. So to me, he's got it, it's no goalie interference. The Flyer defenseman pushes Ulrich into Shane Owen. That he goes through trying to get net front presence. He's not in the crease until he gets pushed into the crease and into the netminder. Never lining up the boards. Nice touch from Allen. And now Newman is in behind. Newman's got the speed. Oh, and look at Pateau chasing him down and poking it away. From one end to the other, you see with the poke checks how good they can be and how uh, how desperate they, they need to be sometimes. I don't believe Brett Newman thought that that was going to be a possibility because when he normally skates away from someone, nobody catches up. That's exactly it, and that's the thing is the unsuspecting things happen. Oh, what a finish from Whistle! The pass out of the corner into the slot area, and Whistle scores the Steelers' sixth. Simpson doing a great job, and same with Newman. You can see Simpson turn. Just gets it back out in front. Whistle just catch and release again, much like Mitchell Balmas was a, you know, a little bit of a catch and release. He get rid of the puck as quick as you can. Nothing that Owen can do. But now we're up to 6-2 here. 18 minutes left. Trying to keep it away from Cormier. Centering feed just hops over the stick of Humitz. It's back out into neutral ice. Quick switch. Shirley again. Couldn't take the puck with him. Nudge forward by Cormier. Nichols. Trying to get body position, but Giles didn't miss the chance to intercept. And there's Usula! Let's get some credit down here on, on at the back end. Cormier does a great job battling at his own blue line. Just gets it down the ice. Nichols beats out the icing. Usula, stick, skate, stick. Shane Owen just can't push out and reach around enough. As useful of the patience. That was the Flyers' first shot of the third period. They'll get another one here. Humitz, bar down. He scored this time. Denied on the breakaway, but he scores in close. And the Flyers have their third. 
Yeah, just some, some good anticipation there. You'll see it coming right here. Nice little finish up and over. Greenfield just doesn't quite get enough of it. This is more what Sheffield wants. Just sort of stretch, stretch it out. Let the clock run down here. Manage the game. Don't allow Fife to get any, any closer. Simpson inside. Valorant! Right on cue. Don't let him get any closer, right, Jonathan? 100 Sheffield Steelers goals for Marco Valorant. We were talking about him in between period that it was, it was coming. I can't give him too many chances, too many opportunities. As you can see there, catch and release again is what beats Shane Owen. He's at the top of the crease, but that goes by him before he can react. Perfectly placed spot. Marco Valorant for a number 100. Fantastic. Balmas couldn't get a full block on that. Tansy stepped up. The puck was played behind him. Cormier was back for the Steelers, although his pass out hits a flyer stick. They might get an opportunity here. No, Simpson breaks it up before it gets through to Humitz. Oh, that one's dropped right to Humitz. And there's a scramble. And Shirley scores. <laughs> wow. This is a calamity out in front of the Steelers' net. Simpson does a great job on the back check first off. And then as he comes, he tries to flip it back out in front. And you can see right here. Hits Greenfield as the puck gets spun around underneath them. Whistle. Steelers don't have it in the corner anymore. Now they do because it's taken off Pavlovs. Back with Diffley. Nice drop of the shoulder. Plays it across towards Whistle, but he was tangled. Tangled with two players, including Emmerdal. But it breaks for Newman! We've just seen Jonathan some some giveaway, some good defensive coverage from both teams, and then a giveaway, and it's just absolutely punished by players. Again, nothing Shane Owen can do about this. Is it the release from Newman puts it stick side, across the body in a spot that's not really savable from there. The Steelers are winners in the first leg by a score of nine to four. There is one more game to go, but the Steelers have taken a huge step towards the final four with a five goal lead to take north of the border on Sunday. Steelers man of the match is Cole Shudra. A pair of goals in the second period and he will get the honor of doing the final Steelers Eddie of the season. He has some company at centre ice. Looks like all of his teammates are going to be a part of this one. And it's been a real team effort from the Steelers today. Deserved applause in both directions. The Steelers have given the fans terrific entertainment all season long, and the Steelers fans have appreciated every moment. Jonathan, thank you. Spect spectacular and special as always. That concludes another season of Steelers hockey on Steelers TV Live. Our thanks go to you for watching our live streams and highlights packages. Your thanks should go to our fabulous team of camera operators, editors and directors. Emily, Liz, Owen, Callum, Zach, Will, Oscar, Alex, Gabriel, Dutz, Matt, Josan, Ron, Liam and Dave. This is Jonathan Fernley signing off for the summer. We'll see you in five months to do it all again. Final score in the playoff quarterfinal first leg. Sheffield Steelers nine, five flyers four. It's never over till it's over, but... The Steelers have put themselves in a very strong position tonight. Yeah, that 120-minute hockey game, that's what your, your aim is in, in this setting, is to try to uh, give yourself as good a lead at home as you possibly can. Um, we did a good job of that tonight. We'll, uh, you know, we'll watch some, some tape and clean up, uh, hopefully, a couple things defensively and, and go up there on Sunday, hopefully, to win a hockey game. You know what I mean? We don't want to sit back and play, play a different way than the way we have success. So we'll, you know what I mean, we'll, uh, again 
try to impose our, our depth and our pace on that team that plays three lines on 5D the majority of the time. And we feel like if we can make them work for everything, well, you know, we can have some success. It seemed like the game kind of turned in the Steelers' favour with those two quick goals early in the second period. Yeah, definitely. That team is really, really good in transition. Um, you know, we we talked about, you know, that team uh, scored 15 goals against us five on five this year, which was the most of any team in the league. Um, and 10 of those goals came in transition. So we wanted to, to try to deny that, but they did a really good job. Everything they got tonight, other than that one, their, I think it was their second goal um, came from behind the net in the D zone. But they're very, you know, they're good on the rush and, and you got to respect that. So a um, lot of really good things tonight, you know, a few things we can clean up, but really good start. Two goals for Cole Shudra, including the first in that second period, then another one later. Just assess the impact that he's had on the side, not just tonight, but throughout the season. Outstanding. He's taken a huge step, obviously, you know, being rewarded with the national team carrot, you know, at the national team break and also making that team at the end of the year for the for the eight pool. So it's credit to Cole. He went down and um, worked on his offensive skills at the level below, gained some confidence, has come back up and still plays a heavy dirty physical game for us but has contributed a ton offensively I thought uh, Finn Ulrich was outstanding tonight um, and then you know we I had them two with with Josh Nichols who played his his best game in a long time tonight just looked energized and heavy on pucks and you know moving his feet and he was absolutely he was our best player tonight for me and was just outstanding you didn't ice Ulrich during the first period what changed then to get him out there in the second you know what? It was I. I had a mindset on the way I, I kind of wanted our top six to roll, and I didn't feel like it was giving us the advantage that I had hoped for. Um, so I moved Simmer up to play with with Use and, and Valley, and I felt like he could drive the pace of that line and play really good defensive defensive play and, and still contribute offensively. Um, ended up with two goals tonight, which was great. And then uh, you know I, I felt like. Finn is when he's played for us he's played very very well and first shift we put him out there they score uh, I think the next shift we put him out there they score again and then two shifts later they score I think they scored they were out there for three goals and the and he was very responsible and has played very very well for us so I'm happy that you know I gave him I gave him some ice and he rewarded me what's the team situation likely to be on Sunday any news at this stage well, it, it, Dowdy will be unlikely again. Um, you know, I think he maybe would have taped it up or, you know, if we needed to in a tight, tight game going up there, I feel like, you know, we, we, we should be able to go up there and take care of business. Um, you know, so I'd like him as close to 100% as I can for next weekend. Finn obviously has playoffs with Hull. I know they lost their first two games, so those are must-win games for them to advance to the semifinal. So I'm pretty sure he won't be available. Um, and then it, from there, we'll just, make, we'll just make any decisions that we think we need to from, from there. And finally, this concludes the Steelers' home season. It's been quite spectacular, really, in so many respects. Um, a little bit of a shame it had to finish here at Ice Sheffield with just 1,500 rather than 9,000, but a perfect way to sign off in many respects. Yeah, you win a hockey game 9-4 like that, you're going to feel pretty good about your last home game. Um, what is, uh, you know, We talked about our goals at the beginning of the season before this game started tonight, and we went from the longest uh, playoff in hockey, the regular season, to the mm -hmm. shortest playoff in hockey, the two-week, the 10-day, four-gamer here. Um, you know, so... We feel like Nottingham is pretty close to home, and uh, if we can get take care of business on Sunday, we, you know, we 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 like our chances. Coach, a difficult night for your team. Yes, I would say uh, it was. Uh, you know, the first period went exactly how we'd like it to go, one-one, and uh, then uh, you know we going into the second. Uh, I thought the first goal kind of was a little bit of a soft one, as I recall. Um, then the next one, you know, they say we bumped, got our head, our goalie bumped, and uh, I mean, it was, and it wasn't waved off. So I'll have to review that and see where it takes us. But bottom line, we didn't play well enough defensively. We turned the puck over too many times, and you know, they, kind of swarmed us with their depth, I thought. And 
we uh, lost two guys. Uh, one of our defensemen got hurt in the first period, um, and then we got another another player uh, hurt his thumb. He couldn't play the rest of the game, and so we've gone a long time without injuries, really. But we had a couple tonight, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get those guys back in the lineup for Sunday. But it wasn't uh, a night that I would uh, say, uh, you know, I'm too proud of as a team. I mean, we just didn't execute and not taking anything away from Sheffield. I, their speed showed up, but they were relentless. They weren't backing off. They kept coming. And, uh, you know, they just totally outskilled us. They outplayed us. And, and really that was as simple as that. They deserve, certainly deserved to win. But you know, we scored four goals. Normally, uh, if you score four, you give yourself a chance to win, but we gave up too many, too many odd man rushes, too many turnovers. All the things that you don't want, that you talk about, and you hammer home, and you work on all year long, and uh, you know, you hope that it doesn't catch you when you're down. But uh, those, those things that make the difference uh, on a positive or negative side, we had too many on the negative side tonight. And, uh, but, you know, again, there's a reason Sheffield won the, the, the main, you know, the regular season and the Challenge Cup. And, uh, you know, they're a good hockey team. So hats off to them. All season long, though, your team has found itself in difficult situations, and you've always found a way to come back. We have. One it's... more special night on Sunday, maybe? Well, you know, we've had a, since Christmas, since New Year's, we've had one of the best record, you know, in the, we had our record was in the top five of the league. And uh, so we really have turned it. But, uh, you know, who knows what Sunday night would happen. You know, you got to win by five. But stranger things have happened.